are here to do a whip and chit with ghost face. Sorry it's been a while since I have done one. Uh, it's been hard to find time to be able to um, work on a project and film. We'll have some loud bark machines that bark at anything and nothing at all. I should probably pull up my sleeves. So don't get fuzz in there. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, I try to find a quiet time when they're chill and people aren't home doing stuff like cooking and cleaning. And yeah, it's never, <laughs> never going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I try, you guys. If there's some dog barking, some daughter you know, tripping or, um, a Mr. Bargeon in the house. I will absolutely, uh, do my best to edit that out, but you know, this is real life, real talk here, right? So you get what you get. It is what it is. We do with what we have to work with, right? So if you guys, um, oh, I'm sorry. Before I hop in, let me just say what I really want to say, which is, hi, hi, <laughs> welcome to Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting with me, Mushy. Uh, I fear that I'm probably out of frame. Let me adjust just a, just a poopy. There we go. Okay. I want to make sure for those of you who like to see dot 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 that you see all the drills going down and um, anyone's curious about a ruler uh, can see how I use it how it works for, out for me what it does for the painting etc um, stuff I'm using today not gonna be too too special uh, well this is special this is O oh snap dots scented glue dots in the scent eggnog and this is by O oh snap crafters cafe uh, love these things. It's a small shop on Etsy and right now there's an effort going on for the next uh, this month and next month um, to help support small businesses like that one um, and some diamond painting businesses. It's really hard out there for them right now the economy and such so uh, anything we can do to help support them uh, I'm all about uh, this little cover minder I did get from a small Etsy shop. Forgive me, I can't remember the name off the top of my Editing mushy here. I'm done. It was O Snap Crafters Cafe. As you may have seen from my sleeves, I am still in my pajamas. I have just woke up. I have not consumed the caffeine required to make my memory and brain work properly. So, um, but I will leave it in the links in the description down below. The links to everything. Uh, this is a diamond painting pen I got off of Timu. It's resin. Uh, came with steel tips. As you can see, I've got my my glue dots in there. My, my Crafters Cafe of snap dots. Um, I'm just using a boat from a, a standard. Um, actually, this is Diamond Art Club boat because it's clear and has the sparkles. I don't think anyone else puts those out. I'm going to be using that. And I'm using, oh, let's see if I can get it. Well, I haven't zoomed in too much, uh, a little bit much, but here you go. I'll move it around. <laughs> I'm using uh, the Timu knockoff of the Elizabeth Ward trays. Um, love them, you know, and it was a fraction of the cost, right? So, all right. And w in today's Whip and Chit, I am going to do... Um, a diamond painting tag, I guess questionnaire, or whatever, um, that was originally where I saw it was posted by Crafty Enabler uh, here on YouTube. Uh, go check her out. Um, she also seems to like some of the same things that I do in terms of, um, you know, these killers and monsters and uh, the dark and creepy. So uh, if you're here, I'm assuming that's your jam too and it'd be nice to go check her out show her some love and support um crafty if you are watching this i hope you don't mind that i 
hopped on your tag here. <laughs> uh, but I have, uh, I get nervous doing these whipping chats, knowing that there are going to be people out there watching and listening and, um, you know, I don't always really know what to say. I'm pretty boring. I don't have much of a exciting life and I, I fear them are run out of stuff to talk about. So, um, this was a good idea and I sniped it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> um, Something tells me, I don't know you, uh, but crafty, but something tells me that you are not going to be too upset with me. Just a, just a theory. <laughs> if I'm wrong, tell me, and I apologize in advance. Okay, so let's see if I, this early in the morning, can diamond paint and answer questions. You may see me reach over to my notebook. Uh, I did have to write down answers because um, some of the questions yeah I, I have half the time I have trouble remembering my own name <laughs> so even though I know the answers to these questions um, remembering that I know the answer to the questions is difficult and I know that sounds silly but I did explain in my first whip and chat if you saw that I do have some uh, medical issues that affect my ability to focus my cognition, my recall, my memory. Um, there's debate on whether I had two mini strokes or transient ischemic attacks uh, on a specific day about two years ago. Um, or if it's the MS lesions causing the problems. But regardless, there are there are brain issues. <laughs> Um, but luckily, like, like I said, luckily it only affect, it affects my, um, and it's only sometimes, you know, it kind of comes and goes, but it only affects like my memory and my recall. Sometimes I have trouble spitting out a word or a sentence. I know what I want to say. I'm trying to say it. It just doesn't want to come out of my mouth. <laughs> um, or a word will be on the tip of my tongue and I just can't figure out the word and spit it out. So please bear with me in these whipping chats because inevitably that mess will happen, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, well, I guess let's um, unstick my hand from my diamond painting and maybe, I don't know, place my, my, my cover minder a little bit more better. -er. There we go. All right, let's get started with some questions. Uh, or how about I put a dot on my pen? Uh, oh boy, this could be a doozy. I'm so sorry in advance. Uh, maybe I should have waited for more caffeine. Um, the first question. Oh, is can I get a dot on my pen? This is not a reflection of the glue. This is a reflection of my inability to hand-eye coordinate without sufficient caffeine. Okay, uh, whip and chat diamond painting tag. And I'm going to have to tag somebody. I just haven't decided who yet, but I will. I will tag you, unsuspecting victim of my of my tag. Um, you know, whoever you end up being. I have some ideas. Okay, um, number one. Who is the new diamond painting artist that I discovered in 2023? Um, honestly, the most honest answer I can give you is pretty much everyone that I have a diamond painting from. Um, I admittedly, you know, just dove into this craft in 2020. It was, um, during, the <laughs> or actually like, oh, how am I supposed to say that? The panini. The, the answer to that is, um, I started getting sick with all my health problems, r like literally, um, at the beginning of the panini when they were talking about, oh, it's not going to come over here. We'll be fine. And then boom, we were out of toilet paper and, uh, food <laughs> at the grocery stores, like the next couple days. 
So uh, it was then that I started diamond, discovered diamond painting. And um, I think my first kit maybe came from like Amazon and uh, those generally don't include artist names. And then I started doing diamond, you know, buying from Diamond Art Club. Um, and I got a few off of Poshmark and stuff, but I, my point kind of, kind of ramble in there. Sorry. Um, the point is that I, I was a fledgling diamond painter and it wasn't until very recently that I became aware of like the issues with licensed art and, um, the whole, I guess, controversy around that, um, artists working hard to produce images and stuff for diamond painting and other outlets and their artwork being taken without their permission and used by other companies or, you know, knock off, you know, getting knocked off, knock, knock, you know what I'm saying? Um, producing knockoffs that are obviously, you know, their original art with some alteration or whatever. Um, admittedly, I did not become aware of this until recently. I was just, uh, living my best life, blissfully unaware of any of that. So I didn't pay attention to artists is my point to that, um, I wasn't paying attention to who created the image I was working on. I was just drooling and salivating over the images that I was seeing that appealed to me that I wanted and couldn't wait to do. Does that make sense? Like, um, it wasn't something that I thought about until more recently. So, um, I've, I've pretty much discovered every artist <laughs> in the last year, um, what, as I've started paying attention to like, oh, this is really pretty who actually created this. Um, <clears throat> my, some of, some of standout artists for me have been, um, Enos Guerrero, who, um, is the creator of the art Cordidon Babe. That diamond painting is available at Diamond Art Club. Um, and basically, I'll insert a picture here of that diamond painting. And uh, maybe it's stats and stuff. Um, it is, to me, looks like a female version of Pennywise. Um, but with a little glam. She's beautiful. You know what I mean? It's not... Um, you know, super scary and whatnot. It, it is, it's creepy. I mean, that's why I have it, <laughs> but it's, um, it's just beautiful, you know? And to me, like I said, I feel like she may have been inspired by Pennywise. It's what, you know, I think of when I look at that is, um, a female, a young female, young woman, Pennywise, uh, whether she's just dressed up like that or, you know, emulating Pennywise or the actual female version of Pennywise. Don't know, but, uh, that's what conjure, you know, what I think of when I see that painting. The other artist that I discovered this year that stood out to me was Christopher, Christopher Lavelle. Um, and he, do, uh, he does, I'm sure I have several, but the ones that pop into my head off the, you know, off the cuff were, and off the Gemflow app, <laughs> were, um, he did a Diamond Art Club mystery painting in the horror genre. So, yeah, you already know. I was on that. I was all about it. Um, I do have it. I have not completed it, but I have seen spoilers because the internet is cruel and mean. <laughs> uh, but no, I, um, uh, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind. Uh, I know some people do. Uh, I will not insert a picture of that one here because it's a mystery painting and, um, it was kind of spoilered for me by accidenti and I don't want to do that to you. So 
Uh, you get a big question mark, an image of a question mark. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> but the image fits right along with the theme and the genre that I like. So, uh, so then I started looking into more of his stuff and I did another painting that I, um, I have, have not started yet is, um, succubus. However, um, I do have quite a large diamond painting stash, which there are videos coming and don't come at me. I know how some people feel about large stashes um, and what some people consider large or excessive or whatever. Um, we have three diamond painters in the house and um, I use this to help keep my anxiety under control and take my mind off of some of my side the side effects of my medical conditions it helps me keep my brain occupied so I'm not focused on oh I don't feel good oh I'm in pain um, so I kind of do diamond painting when I'm not doing anything else if that makes sense like if I have any minute of free time I'm either gaming or diamond painting I'm occupying my mind and I feel like this helps me with my hand-eye coordination and my muscle control and stuff. So, um, and on top of that, we were hoping to, um, produce diamond paintings, um, not produce, is that the right word? You know, create, finish, uh, do diamond paintings and sell them at art shows, craft fairs, etc. And with, the, along with some of our um, other things like my daughter crochets and knits and d does all that, uh, some artsy stuff that she was looking to produce and sell. Um, we do, I think we do have an Etsy shop up uh, with some stuff. Just a few things. We, we haven't really gotten that all ironed out yet. There's only some inventory on there, but, um, we also have a farm, you know, where we produce right now, just eggs, duck and chicken, but come spring, we're, I'm sure we're going to get, uh, other livestock and be producing farm stuff. Um, so yeah, we, we planned on opening a family farm shop with crafts and farmed goods. So, uh, with that in mind, I beefed up my diamond painting um, stockpile. So, um, yeah, I digressed again. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, Christopher Lovell, the DAC horror mystery, um, was one that stood out to me. And then Succubus. Um, oh, but what I was going to say was, how I got derailed was I do have, um, the succubus painting, but I have, you guys, I have a stash that is embarrassingly large for the reasons aforementioned. And I have a, at least I've been told I have a shorter life expect expectancy than the average Jane. So I don't think I could ever get, even with the help of the other diamond painters in the house, ever get all of the diamond paintings done in my stash before things go sour. So, um, Crafty Enabler, talking to you, uh, posted a comment um, on, your, on your tag video and I haven't heard back. Uh, Hopefully I will in the next couple days, but there could be, there, there's a very important question I have to ask you. So if you're out there and you're, you watch this, uh, reach out to me, please. Uh, my, my email is in the description below, or you can just at me on Facebook or Facebook. Hello, uh, YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, let me whisper in your ear. Um, so number two, guys, I, I digressed and I'm so sorry. Um, but it is what it is. Number two, 
question. How many events have I participated in this year? Zip. Zero. Nil. Nada. Yet. Zero. Why that is, is because, um, well, first of all, I, I didn't even, like I said, I was just a casual diamond painter, like in my own little world. I didn't look up YouTube videos or anything. I just bought diamond paintings, did diamond paintings. It didn't even occur to me that there would be a community for it. And so I never looked up YouTube videos or Reddits or, you know, whatever, anything else. I just, that just came in the last couple months, really, where I was like, huh, I was, you know, sitting at home one day watching the, the bark machines and feeling like watching some YouTube, something on TV. And I was just like, yeah, while I was diamond painting and I was like, well, I wonder if, so I searched it up on YouTube and holy crap cow, there's like a whole community. <laughs> um, who knew? So, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't even know there was a community, let alone events. And, um, I did I have seen and heard and, you know, watched some videos about events. Um, the first one I really got excited about were some Halloween. I shouldn't say first one. There was a couple, uh, around Halloween time. And I was like, ha ha ha. Yes. You know, because like I have all of the dark and creepy Halloween spooky ooky paintings and I can like enter all kinds of, of stuff. Um, with this, with this, these bad boys, I have some unique, pretty unique images that I haven't really seen many people do or talk about or haul. And I don't know. I was like, I can, I'm going to dominate events. I'm going to enter all of them, any of them. And I'm going to dominate because like, I have got some really cool images and I work on these and you know, whatever. I'm going to be all up in that business. Well, I was dis got disappointment after disappointment after disappointment when I would look into these events and start reading their rules and I'm getting ready to sign up. I'm all excited. And you, you know, most of them prohibit the kind of imagery that I like to work on, the kind of artwork I like to work on. I mean, even this might've been for some of the events um, non-eligible due to the graphic nature of the image. <laughs> um, so that's why I decided not to participate in events because most of the time, um, I mean, heck, even for something like Valentine's Day, I'm sure there's going to be events for that. Do I have diamond paintings that, you know, are in this genre of horror, spooky, dark, creepy, explicit, adult explicit. Yeah. You know, that will qualify for, I, I even have some that will qualify as, you know, a Valentine's day lovey dovey theme, but it's still horror. Um, but those images are often frowned upon or outright rejected by event holders. So what is the point? You know, I, I do follow along with some of them kind of loosely if there's nothing else that I'm watching only because I can't really find anybody else. Um, and I shouldn't say that. Let me rewind that and say, I can't, I haven't until recently been able to find too many other diamond painting, um, creators that work on the type of this type of diamond painting, this genre of diamond painting. Um, and do it consistently, especially now that Halloween's over, I'm seeing less and less of the ooky spooky and grim. And, um, so it's, I mean, do I find other imagery cute and have, do I have other diamond paintings that others are calling cute? Yes. Um, admittedly I do, but I don't really enjoy I mean, there's only so many birds, flowers, and, and puppy dogs and Christmas hats that I can look at and before I kind of like lose my interest. Does that make sense? I don't mean offense to anyone. I mean, there's nothing wrong, but it's just not something that appeals to my eye and tickles my pickle. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, 
have not participated um, participated in any events this year thus far. However, caveat, I did just enter and was approved. My, my, my chosen painting was approved for an event that I guess started on December 1st, but I didn't get wind of it until just uh, yesterday or late the, the day before. Um, so I'm a little bit behind the curve. Um, it is called, and I'm just going to, you can just give me a minute here to, to actually read, because I don't want to mess up the name. It's kind of important. I shouldn't say kind of. It is important. Um, I just entered the Be the Hero DP along. Um, if you search that up on YouTube or Facebook, you'll come across it if you're interested. And what it is, is um, a diamond painting event to help support small businesses. And there's a list, they have a list of small diamond painting companies that you can, you know, choose a canvas from. They have discount codes if you don't already have a canvas from one of the small diamond painting businesses um, listed, but you want to participate. They do have coupon codes and stuff so that you can go buy one from one of these small companies to enter. Uh, they, it is going on from December 1st to January 31st. Um, and you can per actively participate or you can just follow along. But if uh, there are prizes, there are all kinds of sponsors and it's, it's shops I've heard of big and little um, that are donating prizes and stuff. But um, to be eligible for the grand prize, you have to complete a 45 by 45 centimeter section of one of the diamond painting, of your diamond painting that you enter the contest with um, from one of those small businesses that they list. Uh, and you have to do so before the end of January. And 45 by 45 is like, some people might consider that average or maybe even a little on the snacky side, but that's nothing to sneeze at. That's a pretty big section, you guys. It's bigger than this diamond painting that I'm working on. This is a 30 by 40. Uh, and I know that this one, you know, these usually without filming take me between 28 and 32 hours, including kit up and kit down uh, and, and setting it and stuff. So, um, yeah, 45 by 45 is nothing to sneeze at. It's going to take a while. And Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was boy dog. Um, but yeah, they... Um, one of the companies, one of the small diamond painting companies that you needed to have a painting entry from was Craftably. And I happen to have one... I think I have more than one craftably, but I know for sure I had one craftably. I had gotten it back when they were still putting their stuff in those hard tubes. And it is aesthetically pleasing to me. I'll put it, I'll insert a picture uh, here so you can see what I entered with. Um, I believe it was called Captive Fairy by, oh shoot. Um, you know, I can't remember the name now, but I'll I'll put it up there in the description below. But yeah, the, the painting's name is Captive Fairy. I got it at Craftably. Um, it's a big and uh, 45, oh no. Uh, it's a 50 by 70 centimeter, so 20 by 28 inches. Um, it's square, it's got some pretty ABs and stuff in it. And it's a little bit along what I like to do. It's kind of a, well, you can see the image. Um, I do like, you know, it, it hints at some bondage. Uh, it hits, hints at some is, explicit nature, but does it in a tasteful way. Uh, that's okay with me. Tasteful, distasteful. It doesn't bother me either way, but um, it was, you know, accepted as an entry. And I'm like, you know what? This is an image that I will enjoy doing. Um, 
or at least at very least don't mind doing and um, yeah so uh, confession I have um, sworn my daughter's father RG Sundown um, to assist me he does diamond paint too like I said we have multiple diamond painters uh, yeah he's gonna help me um, between all the filming and the series, the Christmas series that I'm doing now that I want to do and uh, some unboxings that are coming up and lots and lots of content in the pipelines and very little me to go around and time to go around. Uh, I am going to need help and people don't really talk about this, but I have to believe, you know, I see some of these bigger diamond painters enter these events with these massive projects and um you know they'll do an unboxing and like three days later they've got this monster you know three foot by three foot diamond painting done whatever and I'm like how it is it is humanly impossible that you did this in this amount of time by yourself I, I don't care who you are I don't care what you say uh, that's that's my thoughts I'm entitled to my opinion and that is what it is um they, I have to believe that they have help, you know, hey mom, hey dad, hey kid, hey hubby, hey wifey, hey whoever, you know, stranger off the street, here's a diamond painting pen and some putty, uh, help, help, a, help a girl out here, just, just place these anywhere you see this symbol. <laughs> um, so I didn't read anywhere in the rules where it was a violation, like where you had to manually like do it entirely yourself. Which I think if that were a rule, that would be the suck because there are some people with physical disabilities uh, and or mental disabilities that preclude them from doing things without assistance like this. And that would exclude. And um, that's not cool. So uh, I have to believe that it is okay that I have help, you know, completing mine. So... That's, that's what's going to happen with that. That was a long answer for such a short question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get carried away. Let me line this up and we'll get on to the next question. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to cut the, cut the paper soon. It's getting on my nerves and getting in the way. We need some more 310. Let me just get us some more there. All right. Allow me a brief moment to grab a drink. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I saved you my slurpy gurgle uh, swallow situation and confession. I do vape. Um, so I needed a moment to, to suck on my sanity stick. Okay. Question number three. That's where we're at. Is do you set certain times or amount of time to diamond paint? No. And uh, here is why. Um, well, kind of. <sighs> I don't like have a hard schedule like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Diamond paint, you know, which in my world would be perfect because I, I like structure. I'm a structured person. I do best with structure. However, the other people in my family uh, oh, and the little fur monsters and stuff kind of make it harder for me to be more structured. Um, my daughter's father, who I live with, does not structure well <laughs> at all he likes to just go with the flow fly by the seat of his pants which drives me absolutely bonkers um my daughter can go either way she sometimes she operates well under structure and sometimes she operates better under go with the flow she kind of got a mix of the two of us um which is dandy but i i would prefer structure honestly but I'm, i just can't so um I kind of do have a little bit of a habit going on. I usually wake up before everyone in the house. And so I slink out 
to the front room. Um, I do a lot of diamond painting in the living room while we watch TV and stuff. I have a little little crafting station set up there. I'll slink out there, quiet, all ninja style, and uh, just float into the into there and diamond paint uh, for. Sometimes it's five seconds. Sometimes it's you know an hour before anybody else wakes up, and then the dogs and the kid and the Mister and life gets in the way. Um, but I do tend to on on generally speaking get to diamond paint for a while in the mornings uh, when my daughter goes to work and her father has obligations and such out of the house and I'm watching the dogs if they behave I diamond paint a little bit during the day when I can't I just sneak it in when I can really um, yeah sometimes uh, in the evening if we sit down to watch a show like right now we're binge watching we just finished binge watching Game of Thrones diamond painted my ass right through that and then, because um, it was the like second or third time I'd seen it, so I didn't have to like 100% pay attention all the time. Um, and then right now we're doing House of the Dragon. We're we're working our way through that. And I've seen it once, most of the season one. I don't think I finished season one. I can't remember, but I've seen most of them at least. And. Um, so I'm diamond painting when we do that. And here with you guys, when I film, I get to diamond paint. So not, not really a schedule and not really a, a setting aside time, really a certain time. It's when I can. Like I'm creating this video right now on a Friday morning at whatever o'clock. It's getting kind of later now, 10 a.m., because everybody, you know, Mister's out of the house. Your daughter's taking a finishing her morning snooze. She just relocated from her bedroom to the living room couch, <laughs> and the fur monsters are being relatively quiet, except for the little outburst you heard. So this is perfect time for me to be able to film um, an actual video like this, where there's sound versus a speed coaster where the sound's taken out. Uh, so yeah. Here we are. I took the seized the moment. Carpe diem, right? Um. Let's see. Question number four. What is the website or small business that I discovered this year? Uh, the small business that I discovered this year was Firefly. Um, Firefly. Uh, I don't know, and I'm sorry. Forgive me. I will. Link, I will put it in the description below. Um. I just call them Firefly, but I don't know if their official name is like Firefly Diamond Painting Trays. I haven't really looked too much at their inventory to see if they have anything else. Um, I was just focused on their diamond painting trays. They have this one I ordered that um, has, okay, so let me show you. So, you know, you've got your diamond painting tray, right? Um, and it has the lines in here, the grids that you, you know, shake up your beads and line them up, blah, blah, blah. We all know this, right? And, but the tray I ordered has, is bigger um, and deeper, but it has where this interior is a plate and you can remove it and take out these lines and do individual it'll have like a, a whole bunch of individual pockets that the diamonds go in for single placing and then they have another tray you can take that out and put another tray in that has like sections where three four five drills can fit in each section for multi-placing and i'm like must have must have want need give me give me um so i did order that it hasn't come yet i'll do an unboxing when it does but that turned me on to them and then I started following them on Facebook and stuff and recently they had a oopsie uh, an oopsie or overstock I think it was just oopsie sale um, where you know there was something that was not 100% perfect with their trays whether it was the color gradient or a scuff or 
you know, the wrong color, whatever, nothing that, you know, makes the trays unusable. And instead of selling them, you know, just on their site in a discount section, they did, they went on Facebook and said, Hey, we've got like 79 lots, you know, 79, um, individual like sales. Some of them were single trays. Some of them were bundles. Um, but these 79 lots of trays that, you know, we want to sell at a discount, but we're going to do it kind of like a raffle where you had to go through each listing um, that they posted on Facebook. And if you were interested in the chance, um, to per, you know, being winning the chance to purchase this whoopsie at a discounted price, you put your name in the ring and then they randomly select a winner. Um, I don't win anything ever, but, um, I did win the right to purchase uh, a couple of their trays, like one big bundle of like five or six trays. We're really excited about that. And I won the right to purchase a mini tray, which would be perfect for like projects like this. Um, so those are in route. They have been shipped. I should have them soon. And again, I'll do an unboxing when I get them so you guys can see what they were. Um, if you're interested, if you like um, diamond painting accessories like me, I do. Um, so yeah, discovered them this year. Um, don't have any of their actual products yet. The tray I ordered and uh, paid full price for. I ordered like two or three trays. Um, those are custom made. So they, they're custom made slash made to order. So they don't make it until you order it and um is my understanding and it can take up to three to four weeks before it even gets shipped it's been about a month i haven't received a shipping notification yet so I'm starting to get a little antsy but uh they have shipped the trays that were in the oopsie sale that i won so um those are coming i'm just waiting on the ones i spent full price on so um, and then the other small business that I discovered, um, I mean, I discovered a lot of them, to be honest. I really didn't know that there was diamond painting accessories up until like this past six months to a year, maybe. Um, but another small business I discovered was Snap Crafters Cafe. You can find them on Etsy and they sell these glue dots, which is my preferred um, adhesive, if you will. I've tried wax. I've tried putty. I've tried generic wax, scented wax, fancy wax. I, I, they're all usable and that's fine and dandy, but, um, these, oh, let me get, there we go. These glue dots, O snaps, O snap dots, scented glue dots. This is, happens to be the eggnog scent from O snap crafters cafe on Etsy. I really enjoyed these. Um, I've ordered from them a couple times. This is, uh, that came from my second order. They last forever. So unfortunately I can't order like all the time. Um, I probably order more than I should because I like the smells and I like to rotate the smells and stuff. So I've got glue dots for the rest of my life, folks. <laughs> But I keep ordering more because, um, the scents, you know, I like them. Um, but yeah, check them out. Uh, I really, really like them. It doesn't leave a residue on your drills. Um, stays in the pen. They, it just lasts forever. Um, yeah, smells good. I tend to choose the food scent, the food scents. Uh, so then it makes me hungry. That kind of sucks, but that's not their fault. That's, that's me. <laughs> if I, if I didn't, if I didn't want to risk falling into the hunger pit because of the smell of my glue dots, then I guess I should have ordered floral scented, right? I think I even saw one one time. It was like unicorn farts or something. 
guys. I don't want to smell any farts, unicorn or otherwise. So, like, no, thank you. But kind of also, what does a unicorn fart smell like exactly? And how do they know? Okay. Yeah, brain's wandering. <laughs> now I'm thinking about farts. How cool is that? Not, not cool at all. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was boy dog getting mad at me flipping a piece of paper in my notebook. Sorry, boy dog. His name is Russell. Okay. Um, let me get another drink and then I will answer more questions. Okay. Thank you for letting me drink. Okay. Um, question number five, the largest and smallest diamond painting that I bought and or finished in 2023. Uh, this one, I need a minute to look at my paper because I can't remember what I wrote down. <laughs> um, the largest that I finished was a 40 by 50, if I'm not saying it was 40 by 50, Jack Skellington diamond painting. I will insert a picture here. Um, I did just re recently finish it. Now, that is not, okay, yeah, I mean, it's kind of in the dark and creepy if you I mean but if you stretch your imagination a little bit I guess it could fall into the category of diamond paintings that I like to do um I don't like cartoons uh, or animation of any kind really um uh, don't know why couldn't tell you why but it just they make me angry they annoy me I don't like it but um we have a close family friend who a young man uh, father of two who is just found out that um, like he he I guess you could say beat or fought back colon cancer um, a year or two ago was all clear and then he started feeling a little under the weather went to the doctor got some labs done and they found cancer in his bloodstream. They did a whole body scan situation, found tumors on his liver, which coincidentally I have about two dozen tumors on my liver. Um, but yeah, found tumors on his liver, did a biopsy, they're malignant, uh, and they diagnosed him with stage four uh, I, I believe he said stage four liver cancer terminal. Um, however, he is going to fight and starts chemo on the 13th. And we're going to be there to support him the whole way. If he wants and needs us, we're going to be there. Um, but he's a young man with two young kids. And this is his second fight with cancer. And, um, you know, I can, with some, we were comparing symptoms on things. We were, he came over for Thanksgiving and we were talking and stuff and he was telling us what was going on and we were comparing symptoms and I can, well, I can't say I know exactly what he's going through because I am not in his shoes. I am not him and I can sympathize and empathize with some of what he's going through and some of the fear and anxiety and symptomology. Um, because I've experienced that um, also. But everybody's different. Everybody's journey and experience is different. So I wouldn't presume to say that, oh, I know how he's feeling. I know what he's going through. I don't know, no. But I can definitely sympathize and empathize. And it's tragic. You know, it's unpleasant. So uh, all that to say. By the way, shout out to you, Fluffy slash Andy. We're thinking about you every day. You're in our thoughts and prayers, and we're here if you need us. I just wanted to throw that out there because I know sometimes he peeks at these videos. Um, but I did, I did, you know, swallow my distaste for animation and worked up that diamond painting for him. I did, oh, I guess that would be another small shop that I... I don't even know if it's small anymore. It's blown up recently, as is my understanding in the um, diamond painting world. But I did buy some 740 pixie dust drills for that particular painting for Andy. Um, 
the Jack Skellington in the color 740, which is like a pumpkin orange, like a bright, bright orange. Just add some pizzazz. And I added some glow in the dark diamonds to his painting as well. I'll put a pic, I think I said this, but in case I didn't, I'll put a picture, um, you know, in the video so you can see. Um, I did do that one. That was the biggest one I've done this year and gifted it to him. I, um, usually work on 30 by 40s because they're kind of ones that I can do relatively quickly and get through in the time that I do get to diamond paint. And, um, is the rendering always super fantastic? No, but it can be sometimes in other paintings. So, um. Yeah, I usually work on 30 by 40s right now. I'm not scared of the bigger ones. I am actually excited and anxious to start working on bigger ones. It's just the space I had up until this point and my time constraints kind of limit me a little bit, I feel, to the 30 by 40. So, um, then let's see, what was the other one? The smallest I've finished is... Um, 20 by 20, which I think is like what, eight inches by eight inches. Currently working on one now because I am training my daughter's father, Mr. RG Sundown, to, or how to diamond paint. Uh, he said he was interested in doing it with me, finds it soothing and addictive as well. Uh, he has MS as well. <laughs> um, and so it's sometimes hard for him to work on it because of his symptoms. Um, messes with your eyes, your hand-eye coordination, your process, your brain processing ability, etc. Your energy levels. But um, he is in training, and I thought it best to start him off with little bitty ones. And admittedly, they are cutesy pootsy little baby animals. It's hard to find any horror, dark and creepy, dark fantasy, or adult explicit that is that small. So we had to go with some baby ants, some cute little fuzzies, um, little fur babies. But that's just to get his feet wet, get him, you know, this is how you diamond paint, you know. This is, these are the tools you use. This is what happens when you can't line the diamonds up right on your own. He needs a ruler too. <laughs> Trust me, folks, he needs a ruler too. Um, no, seriously though, he doesn't do too bad with it. So, um... And then the, I guess, largest one I've bought, according to my Gemflow app, which should have my entire stash recorded in there, um, the largest I found was, I would guess it was 140 centimeter by 105 centimeter. And no, I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to convert that to inches um, without my calculator. And guess what? I'm filming on my phone, which has my calculator. So... You can do the math if you really want, but 140 by 105, and it's called, uh, I call it Pinky Promise. I don't know um, if it has, like, a real name. I, I label them in my app, and I name them what the image says to me. It's two people walking on a beach, and they have their pinkies interlocked, which is something that me and my daughter's father do as our thing is when we're talking about something serious or want to convey a serious emotion or a promise, we pinky promise. Um, so I saw them, you know, I saw that and I, I got that. It's not horror. It's not dark and creepy, but it is sentimental to me. So, um, I do do, I do do, I do do other diamond paintings besides this genre, which we might sneak onto my channel here and there. Uh, but if I do anything outside of this genre, it is because it has a sentimental meaning. Um, the other largest one I have is 70 by 105, and it's Floatzilla by DAC. Um, and the, oh, I'm going to mess up the name. The, uh, not author, artist is, I believe, Ciro Marchetti. Sorry if I misspoke the name or wrote it wrong or said it wrong, but, um, oh, that's a big doozy too. And again, not dark and creepy. I guess it could fall into fantasy. It was an image that 
uh, sundown saw and really liked it and asked me if I could please get it and if, if we could work on it together at some point. So I said, yes, I will, I will suck it up. And it's not an ugly image. It's a beautiful image. It just doesn't have anything sexy or horror about it, but you know, just cause it doesn't have some of my preferred themes doesn't mean I can't work on it and I will, I will do that for him. Uh, and with him, so uh, he is the father of my child, so you know, we do things for each other, and that's gonna be one of them a big old floating rainbow colored boat. It's all right, <laughs> it's okay if you're watching this. I am excited to work on it, I promise. It has beautiful colors and it's great art. And then the smallest, um, that I've bought. Probably, like I said, the 20 by 20 or the 8, eight inch by 8 inch ones. We, I got a couple just to get, you know, get his little diamond painting virgin feet wet. But, um, oh my God, we're done with black for right now. But I do do, there it is again, I do do, I do do, so stupid. I do do uh, keychains and bookmarks and little um, purses, pouches, uh, coasters, as you guys may have seen, my time-lapse speed coasters. Um, I have some coaster sets up on my Etsy shop. So those, I don't know if you count those as like small diamond paint, the tabletop stuff, I do those. Um, I've done a clock, so uh, a Kleenex box. So yeah. Um, that would be the smallest. I need R. But primarily I do most of my stash is 30 by 40s. Uh, I would say probably like 65% of my stash is 30 by 40s. And my stash is approximately 407 diamond paintings strong right now. Like I said, don't judge. I'll talk about it in a, my stash videos or another whip and chat. But um, no hate. You guys, please, you don't know the story or the whole story in the situation. Um, so, judgment free zone. Thank you. Um, the next question, number six diamond painting that I hope to finish in 2023. Um, I hope to finish this, this Christmas horror uh, series that we're working on here with the killers. Um, We've got Ghostface, which obviously I'm barely started on. I'm almost done with Michael. I'm about three quarters of the way done with Christmas Michael. We did Christmas Freddy. And we're working on Christmas Ghostface. We still have Christmas Jason. And if time permits, I would love to do Zombie Elf and Zombie Santa. And... F you Grinch. But now with this new event and that big diamond painting, I don't know that we're going to get, I'm going to be lucky if we get these, um, this series done. Oh no, we're going to get it done. I'll be lucky if I get it done before the holiday season ends. That's, uh, oh, but I'm doing it. I don't care if it takes me through the next Christmas. It's getting done. I, I love this series. Um, yeah, let me get another color and then I'll answer the last couple questions. Um, this is getting some confetti. I'm in confettiville at the moment. So now I'm slowing down with the answering of the questions. I'm sorry. Confetti will do that to you. All right. Um, let's see what else. What was the next one? Seven. Um, diamond painting I've had second thoughts on buying. <sighs> Guys, too many. There are too many I've had second thoughts on buying. But... Oh, I guess, I don't know, could you count it a second thought? I don't know. I there I do have quite a few that I don't really look forward to working on. Oh, that was almost a boo-boo. This is really strong adhesive. Um, there are some that I, I have that I don't, and a whole series, in fact, that I don't look forward to working on because I don't particularly like the genre or the imagery. However, I got them with the idea of clientele in mind um, and the fact that we might, uh, we are going to, you know, attend craft fairs and try to sell some, maybe open a small shop. 
uh, in which I will be able to put, you know, put, put up my diamond paintings and maybe get lucky and sell some. Um, so with that in mind, I was thinking, you know, I was grabbing images that I think would sell in the area. I do live in Northeast Arkansas, um, Arkansas, if you're a regular human. And uh, we are in the Bible Belt. Um, we do live in an area that has a lot of older people, uh, like elderly older. And um, r religion is thick. And so I do have some more friendly, suitable images for people that might not be as attracted to this kind of art. Um, for the sake of being able to have things to produce and and possibly sell that someone might be interested in buying. Um, so I do have second thoughts like am I going to be able to get to those? Am I going to be able to actually do them? Am I going to hate life while I'm doing them? <laughs> you know, second thoughts, but um, you know, regrets? I don't think so. Second thoughts, definitely. But regrets? Don't think so. I mean, if I don't do them, somebody else will. Uh, and I also plan on doing some giveaways in the future. And when I hit sub goals here and there. Um, question, what, let me get, let me get, let me get my ease here. Question number eight is, what is the new diamond painting channel I discovered in 2023? Well, like I said, pretty much all of them, if I'm being honest, um, some bigger, some bigger name ones like Mrs. Coffee and, um, Diamonds and Washi. Um, I've discovered a lot because I've been, you know, I just started looking. But some of the standout ones to me, the ones that I frequent, I keep coming back to that I'm excited about, that I uh, look forward to that notification when it pops up that, that they've posted a new video. Um, I probably shouldn't have put that there. Problem for future me. Um, uh, really new and uh, oh my gosh and I gotta say this I, I am really excited about this and um, you know t because it's someone who seems to have the same flavor and taste for this genre that I do you know the horror the killers the you know monsters and stuff is um, Crafty Enabler hi Crafty Enabler who I kind of swiped this tag from and helped myself to it <laughs> Um, uh, go check her out here on YouTube, Crafty Enabler, and that's K, Crafty with a K, K A, uh, K, I can't spell, K R A F T Y E N A B L E R, Crafty Enabler. Um, I liked the stuff she was doing. She does some time lapse too. I saw that. Um, and so, yeah, I, I am excited to have found her. She seems very nice in the limited exchange that we've had in comments. Um, and I love that I finally found someone else who is like, seems to think along the same lines as me, likes the same art, and also thinks like, you know, we get excluded from events because of the art we like to do. Um, and that it's been difficult to find other people that are doing exclusively this kind of art. So I, I was kind of feeling like I was floating alone out here until I found her channel. And now I don't feel quite so alone anymore. Um, and the same can be said for dragon wing diamonds. I just recently discovered her channel and she seems to do uh, a, a lot of times from what I've seen, admittedly, have I looked at the whole, have I had time to watch the whole, you know, library of videos on her channel? No, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but, um, seems to have like the same or similar likes in art and aesthetics that I do. So uh, I was glad to find that 
And then another one um, is Real Men Craft 2. That guy is so freaking pleasant and at ease in front of the camera and just really seems like a nice guy, very personable. Um, just, just seems like a really nice guy. And he does work on some horror things. Uh, I think the first video I saw of his that came across my little search feed thingy was um, where some one of his subscribers, I guess, um, he got fan mail and, or for, what do they call it? Happy mail? What a, whatever, fan mail. Um, and some someone had anonymously, <laughs> Michael Myers had sent him a, di a couple of Michael Myers diamond paintings. And I thought that was so cute that whoever it was, you know, was like, hey, here's, this is Michael Myers sending you port self portraits to do. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, but he does that and he has an affinity for Disney villains as well. So, um, uh, that I, that part, um, I respect him and I appreciate that he likes that stuff, but I've already said my opinion on cartoons. I'm kind of not a cartoony mama. So, um, but I'm all, I'm all for the, the, uh, horror stuff and he does do some, so I'm excited about that. And other stuff. He does jewelry and stuff. Really. And shows that men can craft too. You know, like you this this community is predominantly female. And it's really good to see some males out there doing it. Yeah, and so those sorry. Those are the primary standouts for me. Um here I have my I have black beads in here. This is a diamond painting tray I got on Etsy if I uh, find the link. This is what I was talking about where it has like single. This is not a firefly tray. Um, does it have a CCE is on the back? I don't remember the name of the, the business, but I'll, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, but for someone like me who's a single placer, uh, it's been really handy dandy. Um... I can't really find too many other people that are doing dark, creepy, horror-related diamond paintings on a consistent basis. Around Halloween, saw a couple people do a couple pop up here and there. Um, more mild ones and stuff, or just a one-off. And then they went back to, like, puppies, unicorns, flowers, and dogs, and snowmen. And, and you know, that's fine. That's cool. Uh don't mind watching it. We'll watch it. We'll support it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but it's become hard to find people that do exclusively. Will I do exclusively this stuff? Prime. I won't say exclusively. I, cause that would be a lie. Um, cause I do have some other things in my, in my stash and, uh, I use a random number generator to tell me which ones to do next. But primarily, I mean, like I said, I think 60, at least 65% of my stash is horror and creepy, spooky, ooky. Um, yeah. Um, number nine, almost done, you guys. What was my favorite diamond painting that I finished this year? That's not fair. I can't pick one. <laughs> um... The Jack Skellington, while I am not a fan of animation, was one of my favorites because I, w I um, was able to, oh, that should be a, tra that is a trash drill too. Sorry guys, stand by. Tweezers. No, nope, these suckers got to go in the, in the no-no pile because if it doesn't fit in the ruler, it's odd shaped or too big or too small and it's, um. I don't have my little trash, trash collector that I hauled uh, out on my desk yet. I'm a terrible person, but I do have it and I am going to use it. I just don't have it. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> um, I did like the Jack Skellington uh, because I know that it made someone who does not have a lot of sunshine in their life, it brightened their day. Um, 
so uh, for that reason I enjoyed that one but my favorites that I've done so far uh, which I will show off in like my I plan on doing like an October November combo review maybe even October November December since I just start filming like in November I can't you know I kind of got timing off to do like a month in review so I'm probably gonna do like a a quarter in review <laughs> and you'll get to see I did a series of garbage pale kid killers uh, if you're old enough to um, know who the garbage pale kids are they were like cabbage patch kids but just made obscene absurd uh, creepy spooky um, I did garbage pale kid pinhead Jason Michael Freddy and Chucky and I believe that's all in the series I can find I got them off Timu and last I last time I'll put them in the links down in the description below are you another trash drill come on now if I if they're still available but last time I looked to link them in another video they were sold out unavailable unable to link them uh, if nothing else maybe that just went flying. I won't tell if you won't tell. I'm not going to go search for it. It'll be our secret. <laughs> uh, the vacuum will find it when I vacuum later. Um, but no, uh, yeah, if I can find it, uh, the links, I'll link it. If not, if editing me has the energy, I will put pictures of them up, uh, the finished ones. If not, not that... You'll get to see it in my quarter and review. Um, yeah. One of my other videos has a sneak peek of it. I was putting a diamond painting away and you could see, I think I even slid the book over the portfolio over so that you could get a good look at Pinhead. Um, I did adorn all those with an accent glow in the dark here and there. Um, and that's, part added to my enjoyment of doing those diamond paintings so that that question was unfair because I can't pick just one um, I have the one plus I have the series of ones <laughs> that I really liked completing this year I didn't I don't have much to choose from in terms of favorites for completions for the year because I did move across the country um, I was p busy packing and cleaning and doing all the things that you do to prepare to move household um, from you know across the country so from like December well not maybe December January maybe February through mid-April I was packing cleaning sorting donating selling uh, figuring out how to move across the country on a budget uh, logistics you know travel plans etc so I did not diamond paint I ended up packing that stuff up so I wouldn't be tempted to be distracted and I could get that stuff done and um, then when we got here our house was not finished so we had our stuff in a storage unit including my diamond painting stash and tools and stuff so I had not got to start diamond painting until um, September maybe so really I have not diamond painted this year up um, from January to sep August or September um, so yeah had to take a little break life got life got crazy in the way but when you're moving 2,000 miles away with you know uh, your young daughter I should say, shouldn't say young she's an adult 23 year 23 year old daughter and two hellhounds uh, they're little teddy bear golden mini teddy bear golden doodles but they are just oh it gives pain in the ass like a whole new meaning you look that up in the friggin dictionary and you're gonna find charlotte and russell right there uh they these are some ill-behaved dogs and before anybody says well it's the owner's reflect the reflection of the owner training blah 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 they have been to a behaviorist for trainers and an overnight camp with a military 
uh, a Marine and, who trained IED dogs and when he retired he trained police dogs and he still could not make any headway with boy dog Russell so uh, do not blame me even a pr trained professional military freaking man who kept our dog for weeks could not get through his thick skull so it's a dog problem not a me problem um okay oh and i should say if if i may add to a favorite diamond painting that i finished i know it wasn't the question was this year but if i could please insert one for last year my favorite diamond painting that i completed last year was and I will take a picture of it and post it somewhere around here. Um, was a picture of my doggy soulmate who passed away. His name was Jensen. He was my nurse. <laughs> um, I think he could, you know how they say some dogs can detect, you know, seizures and diabetes problems and like heart attacks before they happen, you know, service dogs really. They can detect all kinds of medical and physical stuff. I think he could tell that I was starting to get tumors everywhere because he started waking up in the middle of the night, checking on me, stuck his whole snoot in my mouth to make sure I was breathing. He would always smell my breath. He protected me when I had my strokes. He guarded me, wouldn't let anybody near me, um, which, I mean, good and bad. I mean, he was protecting me, but I needed the medical help, so they needed to get to me, but he... He was like, no, no one shall pass until this, you know, until I say so. Um, he was the goodest boy and he was my puppy soulmate and he passed away from cancer too soon. Um, didn't have enough time with him, but I got a custom diamond painting done and I did that. And that was my favorite completion of not just last year, but my whole life. I will keep it forever. Um, I was happy to be able to take a beloved photo of a beloved friend, companion, pet, and turn it into diamond art, which I also love. It makes everything sparkly and pretty. So, uh, yeah. Hey, just Depresso Espresso train leaving the station. Let's go. Uh, let's get out of there. Um, the last question is, diamond painting that I really want to buy by the end of the year this all of them that are horror <laughs> dark fantasy too many you guys we have too many choices especially if you don't mind buying off of like amazon or timu um, if you're not exclusive to um you know the company the big companies and stuff there are too many um i have a hard time finding the art that i like represented in the bigger companies once in a while you'll find something that might creep on the edges of what I like but um yeah it's hard to find so I there's a lot on like AliExpress they have a lot of like adult explicit that I would love to get uh into my stash and a lot of horror unique horror that I haven't seen anyone else like review, look at, unbox, uh, that appeals to me. Um, so a lot of unique is what I'm trying to say. A horror and explicit, um, monster, dark, creepy diamond painting. But if I have to pick one from like a major company, um, Diamond Art Club has a mystery abstract available. I don't know if it's still available. It was like a, a week or two ago. It recently came out. I'm nervous about that one because I looked up the artist and I looked at their Instagram and some of their stuff is like up my alley kind of cool with the, how weird and abstract and a little creepy some of them can be. But the other 50% is not at all anything I would at all be interested in or happy doing. And considering it's a mystery so you don't know what the image is, I got a 50-50 shot that I'm either going to love life or hate life while doing it. So I'm a little nervous about buying it, but, um, the Pokemon collection collector got to have them all part of my brain is like, yeah, you really do want to get it, you know, in case it is one that you really like. 
I may try to look up spoilers, you guys. I know there are people out there that post that stuff. Um, and I try to avoid it, but this one I might intentionally seek out just so I know um, before I buy it which 50% it falls in. The kind that does not at all interest me from him or the kind that is totally, you know, gives me the, the, the chills. So, um, yeah, hard to find, hard to find, um, diamond paintings from non-budget friendly, I don't know how to say it, uh, from, you know, bigger companies. It's hard to find diamond paintings that fit my category. That was all the questions, all 10 of them. This took a lot longer than uh, I thought it would, sorry. Because cause I, I digress and I go off on tangents and off on the different tracks and get turned around and make a wrong turn in Albuquerque and <laughs> here we are. Let's just finish up some of these dots and um, then I'll get out of your hair. Well, we'll have worked a little bit on ghost face. I can hear the fur babies getting a little restless, I think, and I hear some noises outside. I know Sundown's going to be home soon, and that's going to be a bark fest when he gets here. So I want to try to finish this up before uh, you guys get subjected to any of that. But man, I really do want to work on this uh, some more kind of in, in the zone, I guess we can push our luck and I'll hang out. We can hang out until the dog barking becomes a problem or I finish this. Okay. Finish throwing things at myself, finish this section. I am going to have to, to hustle though, because, um, if not dogs and Mr. Coming home, and creating all kinds of noise and havoc that I don't want you guys to hear. Uh, I will need to visit the urination station because I have finished my soda. Have you guys seen? Okay, so I'm diabetic, so I have to do like, the, if I do a soda, I do the zero soda. Um, which excludes a lot of flavors for me, which kind of sucks sometimes. But Dr. Pepper has come out with a strawberries and cream zero sugar soda. I've had the sugar soda, which I know, bad diabetic, shame, shame. I, I know, but just little bits here and there, little sips, whatever, leave me alone. Um, I, uh, and then, and then they started, they came out with the like full flavor, full sugar one first, and then we started seeing the zero. And you guys, that is some good shit. I said it. Yep. That is some good shit. I, highly recommend. If you are a fan of Dr. Pepper, I recommend. If you are not a fan of Dr. Pepper, I still recommend because you, I don't taste, I mean, it's maybe the faint, was that it? There's maybe the faintest hit, hit, hint, word, I speak, the slightest hint of Dr. Pepper. But the primary forward flavor is strawberries and cream and it is so good i am a fan of fruit and cream flavor so i like ambrosia salad and stuff like that so like yeah anything that's like fruity and creamy i'm all about it so yeah this was this was always going to be a win for me it's like they knew uh, another soda i like but i can't really have it much because of the sugar and they don't have a zero option only comes out around this time of year when you're, when I'm filming this it is December 8th um so around the like Christmas oh I missed a D right there uh, Christmas season is um, the cranberry ginger ale Canada Canada dry cranberry ginger ale that's some good stuff too you guys but I can't justify buying a whole case of it when I take me an eternity to safely be able to drink it 
and I would waste so much of it just opening a can, taking a few sips, and then being like, well, yep, that's, that's all the sugar I can have today. So, not worth getting it anymore, but... Where did that diamond go? I don't know. But before um, my diabetes got to the point it's at... Well, there's a B. Um, I did really enjoy that soda. So that's... I like, I like sparkling water. That kind of gives me soda vibes, but is hydrating and healthier, arguably. If you, it depends on what doctor you ask. Some doctors are like, carbonated anything, bad, boo. And some are like, hey, water, it's hydration, go for it. So, depends on who you ask. So, um... What is everybody working on? What is your whip? Are you doing the the seasonal Christmas stuff too? Uh, are you doing traditional Christmas like trees and Santa and cookies and snow and you know? Uh oh, that's boy dog. Sorry guys. Um, are you guys working on um, you know thematic kind of like this is a Christmas diamond painting? He's got a Christmas wreath. They got nutcrackers. That's Christmas colors. Um, but it's horror, you know, so it's like a thematic holiday one. Is anyone working on um, a thematic holiday diamond painting? Or are you guys just doing um, traditional? Nothing wrong with traditional confession. I do have a big, a big honking ass Santa paint on me. It's a big and um santa traditional like old school santa with his fluffy white beard and stuff um, i miss two two days i see nothing wrong with that i just uh have to be in a real special mood i got it um honestly i got it in case next year there's a uh seasonal event uh, so i have something that will actually be accepted as an entry in the event that I want to do it. If not, if I destash it, um, I'll do it on a member goal or member subscriber goal giveaway. Um, cause I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that would probably love and appreciate it more than me. So Want to get this done? I need to visit the urination station. So ho hopefully, I answered all the questions. I'm trying to think of other like diamond painting relating question related questions that I could like answer. But while I was digressing, I probably answered them all <laughs> and didn't uh, answer it at all with my going askew. I would love to hear the answers to you guys. But if you guys, like, ha there was a question that you felt compelled to answer and tell other people about, like, or me or the world, anybody about, answer in the comments below. Don't be shy. Come say hi. Come talk to other people that are watching. Um, you know, meet, meet some people that way. Make some friends. Uh, be vocal. I don't bite. Well, I do under certain circumstances, but that's not for you guys. That's a, that's personal. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm being a goofball. I am a goofball. I do have a potty mouth, pirate potty mouth, and um, an even dirtier sense of humor. So I do apologize. It creeps out once in a while. I can't contain it. I was born with it. My dad is one of those, like, dirty grandpas. <laughs> He's dirty-minded, dirty, dirty minded, dirty dad jokes. Um, they're, he can pull it off in a way where it's not creepy and gross. It's endearing and um, funny. But it makes you roll your eyes like, Dad, come on, man. <laughs> really. Um, it's funny because... Uh, his, his mother, my grandmother, just passed away um, 
a week and a half ago. Um, God rest her soul. Um, but yeah, she was, she was, I think, a closet dirty-minded woman. Um, she would always roll her eyes and scold us, m myself, my dad, you know, anybody who made a dirty joke around her. But, uh, yeah, catch her sm smirking and snickering. And then as she got older, um, she liked to shock the staff with a little dirty joke or a little dirty innuendo comment here and there. She liked the reaction she got out of the nursing home and hospice staff. Um, Dad got to see her quite you know, he lived close by, he visited her, you know, every couple of days and uh he I lived further away so I was unable to spend that kind of time with her over the last couple of years, but he did keep me updated with phone calls and stuff and he said that boy she was just she was really looking for the the shock value with those people. <laughs> she was wanting to she was wanting to get a rise out of them. Yeah. It's funny how, you know, old people can get away with that kind of stuff, saying some of the some of the things that they say and it's all cute because they're old. When do I cross that threshold? When does it go from being like um eye roll worthy to cute? Like, oh that was cute. Do you hear that dirty word she said? I don't know, with all the grays coming in. Um, I might, I might get to, to the cute status, uh, sooner than I'd hoped. I'm fighting these gray hairs, you all. I, I'm 44, and I'm getting like, you know, these gray skunk streaks in the, at my temples. Anybody else? Like, where does your, if you're old enough and you have gray hair, where's yours coming in at? Mine's at my temples, big streaks long streaks of it and I have brown light brown hair um and so it sticks out but I do in the summer photo since what is that photo where, where I'm out in the sun and my hair lightens so in the summer when my hair lightens the gray kind of just looks almost kind of blends in with natural highlights the natural blondish highlights that come in but in the winter, when my hair darkens, it's like Doctor Strange and shit. <laughs> it's like obvious you can't miss it. Uh, I could dye it. I do dye my hair sometimes, but it's not to hide the gray. I mean, it's nature. It's life. It happens. Um, we age. We change. And that's fine. I'm not, I don't need to hide it or disguise it or I'm not ashamed of it or anything. But I do like to dye my hair to, I like to color change once in a while. Just to look in the mirror and see myself in a different way. I tend to lean toward either blonde, uh, the more blonde side, or sometimes the darker, cooler colors, like a dark, cool brown, chestnut, or dark chocolate, or... Um, oh, I don't think I... I don't literally look good when warm tones, as you can see, like I wear gray and, you know, silver stuff. I don't think, I think gold is not, so I, I don't think I'm a warm, but I am not a like, skin tone professional. <laughs> you know how people in the makeup channels, they'll, um, oh, you know, your undertone is cool or warm if you know, your veins look like this or like that, or if this color jewelry looks good on you. Yeah, I can't figure that out. I, in my opinion, I don't know what it looks like to the rest of the world. My opinion, um, yeah, the warm stuff just, I don't know, uh, brings out the jaundice in my skin. <laughs> it brings out the yellow and it's not a cute look. And I think silver looks better on me, but I could be wrong. So I stick to earthy tones, natural tones, cooler tones. My daughter says I'm afraid of color. 
when it comes to makeup and clothing, really. Uh, she, she accuses me of being afraid of color. Kind of true, because I don't, I don't, I'm not a makeup professional. I'm a makeup enthusiast. I do like makeup. I do like to put makeup on and try new makeup products and watch some makeup YouTubers, but um, I don't have the talent to, to back up, you know, bright, colorful, dramatic looks or anything, so I, I tried. Yeah, that, that led to some pretty laughable moments and embarrassing public outings, <laughs> but I tried, you know, that's all you can do is try. Now, my daughter, she... Um, she is like translucent. She actually, she had white hair for the first couple years of her life. Um, she came out blonde. She at like six months went to redhead for a while. And then uh, her hair started lightening and lightening and lightening. And like by the time she was three or four, she had, I mean, it wasn't straight up white. I guess it was more of a like, platinum blonde it was so blonde that it, it was like one shade up from white hair you could barely see the, the the yellow in it um and she has like translucent snow white style fair skin like white crayola crayon it's hard for her to find foundations to match her because she's so pale that a lot of companies, I think Kat Von D maybe makes some light up. It is, I think that might be the only one that we've found that reliably and consistently makes foundations that are light enough for her. Everything else makes her look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> um, so I'm like, well, why don't we just save money and buy like a couple cases of white out? <laughs> um, it's funny because, uh, and she has hazel eyes, which she will tell you they're green. They're not green, they're hazel. Don't listen to her. But um, her father, or, well, I should preface this by saying, obviously, from how I've described myself with the brown eyes, brown hair, um, she did not get her hazel eyes and blonde hair from me. She got them from her father. And it's strange because um, he has these beautiful blue, almost see-through eyes you know those like the eyes that are so blue that you look into them and it's like you can like see that's like looking in water or glass or something you can like see through them beautiful blue eyes um and the blonde hair which is where she got it but um he he can't he's he gets so dark in the summer he tans whereas she and i burn we turn into lobsters he turns into a bronze god and i'm so jealous so jealous because he's like oh let's do stuff outside a i don't like the heat but b i know what's going to happen i'm going to turn into a tomato slash lobster you know and uh I, that's not cute um but he'll turn into this like golden bronze god and like all the women be looking at him and I don't know. I think it's funny. I don't get jealous. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's like, yeah, you can look. <laughs> I look. It's cute. He's hot. <laughs> yeah. But I don't I'm not the kind that gets jealous. You looking at my man? My bronze guy. <laughs> well, boy, now we've gotten personal and with that, this whipping shit is over. We've whipped. We've shooted the shot the chit chit the ch shit that oh there i said it whoops <laughs> we, we shot the chit and um yeah we've diamond painted work in progress we sh shot the chit we answered the diamond painting questions and we finished our section here so with that we are done for now i will see you guys in the next video thanks for coming oh hey before we go um, please like, subscribe, comment if you liked, want to subscribe and have a comment, <laughs> feel free to do so down below. I really appreciate it. Let me know if this is the type of content you like. 
Now, um, oh, and let me take that back. And thank you so much for uh, spending your time with me. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come hang out with me and see what I'm doing and come do it along with me. And with that, we are done. And until I see you in the next one, I, w I wish you a naughty night. Bye.